Good afternoon ladies, gents and Pikachus. I wanted to speak to you a little more about why we shouldn't follow the Pope. We should follow, if we are Christians, Christ alone and the prophets and the nominees of Christ himself, such as the saints, the apostles, and not the Pope who has appointed himself above these guys and in doing so turns his back on Christ. So I want to read you a section of Isaiah which used to be biblical canon but more recently was removed on the order of the Pope and is now considered to be apocryphal even though before the Pope removed it it was one of the main doctrines of Catholicism until about 12 years ago. For without thee no way is perfect and without thee nothing is done. It is thou who hast taught all knowledge, and all things come to pass by thy will. There is none beside thee to dispute thy counsel, or to understand all thy holy designs, or to contemplate the depths of thy mysteries, and the power of thy might. Who can endure thy glory? And what is the Son of Man in the midst of thy wonderful deeds? One shall one born of woman be accounted before thee, kneaded from the dust, his abode, is the nourishment of worms, but he is but a shape, but of moulded clay, and inclined towards dust. Now, if you think about why that was removed, what Isaiah is saying there is even the most great and revered man, a king, is just made of dust, moulded and kneaded by God into man, and who will return to the earth and be food for worms. In other words, past his death, he can have no authority on earth. His authority is not permanent. He is not infallible. Even though he's a king. That's exactly how we should see the Pope. Despite the fact that the Pope tells us he is infallible, that his will is permanent, and he decrees that the Roman Catholic Church all believe in him and his permanence and his authority. He's like the man of clay and dust who will return to the ground and be food for worms. He is no more permanent than you or I. No more infallible than you or I. He is a man, the same as you or I. And only Christ can precede the authority which the Pope takes from the Gospels and the Saints and from Isaiah's holy words that I just read you and take it into himself. He appoints himself above Christ and in doing so he serves only Satan. So the conclusion is Jesus Christ is the one who is infallible. Through his works we know this. Through his own actions we know this. And he is the only permanence. But the Pope the Pope is a prince, a king, a celebrity, an actor, a politician. He's many things. But none of those things are permanent. None of those things are authoritative in the words of Christ. He does not lead me. He himself is crying out for God's authority and judgment and wisdom. Yet he turns his back on it so that you can kiss his slipper. You can kiss his holy ring. You can follow him. And he can instruct you. And that's why he's evil. So anyway, that's the end of this video. Hope you enjoyed that and you learned something. And I will see you in the next one. Bye now. And if you would like more information on the Pope's false claims to God's authority, then please go to the Catholic website. Just type in Catholic website into Google. And it will be vatican.ca or something like that. So that's all for now. God bless you all and I'll see you next time.